Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of dermoid cyst. A 35 years old female patient came with lower abdominal pain. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the right adnexa showing a hyperechoic area. You can see a faint shadow here indicating this hyperechoic lesion is attenuating sound beam causing distal darkness. This is a well defined mass and you can see some hypoechoic part here also. So this hyperechoic area attenuating the sound should be the fat containing substance which is possibly a case of cystic teratoma or dermoid cyst. Here is the picture of this dermoid and you can see the sound attenuating hyperechoic mass like area. It measures around 4 cm. Here is again this lesion and power doppler shows no definite internal vascularity. You can see adjacent internal iliac vessels on power doppler here. Here is a magnified image and you can see this hyperechoic lesion attenuating the sound indicating the fatty tissue. On color doppler, you can't see any vascularity inside. Can you remember the hepatic steatosis? We have posted some videos about hepatic steatosis. And if you check there, you can correlate that this lesion quite looks like a fatty change in liver as both are having fat inside. So again, the lesion with high frequency linear transducer. So in summary, a well-defined round to oval complex mass with predominantly hyperechoic homogeneous sound attenuating component at the right adnexal region. The right ovary could not be separately visualized. Color Doppler shows no internal vascularity. So this feature suggested as a case of dermoid cyst or cystic teratoma. Now the take home message. The sound attenuating feature may help differentiate between the dermoid and endometrioma in confusing cases. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.